normally have chopsticks. We love chopsticks, but recently they got waterlogged and they split. So I'm gonna just use my hands. That's gonna be me. the end of the roll is always a little bit loose. So let's just we'll just pinch it. And... Inside one. Do an inside one for an official bite. Mm -hmm. So you can put whatever you want in your sushi roll without the unagi, spicy mayo, sesame seeds, all the little add-ons. It's just mm -hmm. like not the same. Stop wasting your hard-earned money on disposable nylon tents. Upgrade your outdoor experience with the most rugged and spacious canvas hot tent on the market. The 20-foot Stella Stargazer has an impressive 289 square feet of interior space and comes wood stove ready with a 4-inch stove jack that can accommodate stove pipes up to 6 inches. This tent can fit two king-size beds or up to 12 sleeping bags. It's safe to say that this may be the most comfortable tent camping experience of your life. Click the link below to learn more. Okay, you guys, I am going to start cleaning the trailer now. And I'm just gonna take everything out. I have a lot of work to do. I'm very nervous. I'm feeling very pregnant <laughs> right now. I'm having a hard time with like getting exhausted really easily. We're just gonna get it done. Wish me luck. This is a bunch of our food stuff that was on the countertops. Obviously we needed that down. I dumped a bunch of, bunch of rice all over the place, more food stuff, um, obviously. This is where the stove was, and that just, I mean, the whole thing dumped over on Gopo's bed. It was just such a wreck, so we're gonna take all of that out. It's kinda hard to know where to start. So I um, just turned on the water pump so that I could clean some dishes, and it's like leaking all of the water. We haven't used the pump since, you know, before winter, so it's just like leaking all underneath the bed. Seems like, I don't know. Oh, fuck. What? Um, what? Do you see that? What? Oh, fuck. That's the hot water thing. Holy shit. When did that blow? Holy shit. Well, there you go. The mystery is solved. <laughs> it's just leaking over. It's, it's, it's pushing it up and pushing it over. That, it's overfilling that, out of the crack? Out of the crack. Last two days we spent being lazy, procrastinating, ever since the little incident with the fire. It really drains you, man. I just remember being exhausted and realizing we f***ed up. <laughs> Front of our driveway is an absolute mess right now. It's been like that for... <laughs> a minute? How long now? More than a couple days. When it's time to start cleaning, you don't even know where to start. It's yeah. actually really overwhelming as most of you probably know. The best place to start is with a trash bag. That's, I guess, I found <laughs> trash bag. Pick up all the trash, and then you can see what's important, what's not important, donation, more trash. We peeled out the foam insulation and the carpet. Uh, we obviously took out the fireplace hearth and the little st uh, wood stove. Thank you, Jake and Amber, for letting us borrow that. Literally warmed our asses this whole winter. Couldn't have done it without you guys, thank you. So yeah, the goal is to do a full spring clean on the Airstream. Now we've gone through many phases uh, of living in the Airstream on and off, four years oh, almost, yeah. consistently the last two years. Ugh. And this past year, fully off grid. The Airstream has gone through many changes. Um, as you guys can see where the stove was this winter, that's where the dinette was. We removed the microwave, we don't use microwaves. Great storage space that wasn't being utilized properly. TV was just hanging out on the wall. <laughs> It's just things that required 120 AC and you need to run the generator in order to use those things, just like the air conditioning. <laughs> what we've done is made it more livable and more comfortable for us, but now it's reached a point where in order to continue making it better, uh, it needs to be fully renovated. I am taking a little break. It was tiring. <laughs> I'm so tired. <sighs> and all I want is like a watermelon icy drink. Oh, that just sounds like heaven on earth. Look at that thing, dude. It got f***ing warped. <laughs>
Yeah, this thing was like 20 yards away and it was, it was putting off so much heat. There you go. Damn. Don't want to waste all the water. Yeah, dude, what the f So I bet you this thing froze, it expanded, and, and it busted the tank. Five or six gallon hot water. There we go. Whew. The shit that makes you nervous, dude. Drain plugs, man. They don't need to be that tight. Like 18, 20 foot pounds, that's it. guys it is a very hot day today and I am very pregnant I told Jason that I need to go to the lake so we're going to our special spot right babe oh yeah it's hot as shit it's pretty bad uh, so yeah we're going to the lake we're gonna have some fun I'm just gonna be in the water the whole time I'm so like hot and bothered right now but the water's gonna make me feel better Go get him. beautiful matching bra and underwear and I don't I literally just have a onesie on I don't have a bra on or anything like that but she convinced me to go in so here we go <laughs> It's Wednesday and here in our local town or local city I guess you could say they do a concert in the park we don't normally do stuff like this because we're not big fans of uh, crowds of people. We're just mountain people. But the weather's beautiful. It's like 82 degrees out. We're gonna meet up with some friends, enjoy some music, get some beer. Yeah. So we found this little food truck. Andrea got her falafel fix and I got a gyro, mm -hmm. lamb and beef combo. Mm. Let's see. Some olives, some tzatziki. Mmm. Mmm. Gorgeous. I needed that. We decided to come sit in the shade because it's so hot out there. All the people are over there. It's very bright. Here we go. <laughs> it's so close to the ground. Oh my god, it's so good. Pregnancy is weird, but this is so good. Mm. It was a great time. It really was. If any of you guys have been to a concert in the park of your own variety in your own hometown, you know what it's like to just drink fresh beer on tap with your toes in the grass and you got a soft blanket and you can just hang out and there's kids and there's families everywhere. It's just f***ing awesome, man. We had a great time. We live an hour away from the city, but we're house sitting in the city. Normally we wouldn't be home until 10.30 p.m. right now, but now we're gonna be home at Seven minutes. at 9.45, <laughs> which is lovely. Is this? Out. Oh. 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 
puppies. Oh no, don't bite it. Oh no. <laughs> he went and bit the microphone. What the heck? What, what the f